Hello, let's do the New York Times Hard Sudoku for October 16th, 2024. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself. And I'm going to get started right now. All right, I have two nines looking in here. It puts a nine in one of these three. Seven, eight, six, five, no other duplicates. Um, any crossings on the seven, nine? So two, three, and six would be potentials. Unfortunately, there are no two, threes, or sixes in these rows here. So no crossings there. Um, I see the, the six and the seven look into here, but that doesn't help. There's really nothing here to do. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to move on then, next band. So we've got three, six, and eight. So the eight has a buddy here. And this eight looks down, so that actually places this eight. Let's just follow up right away, put eights down here. Um, the threes also have a buddy. I missed that the first time. This three looks up. Places a three there. These two threes look up. Puts a three in one of these two cells. Um, okay, so when I, when I place threes like this, ideally, every time, I'm looking to see if there's another box that has that digit, in this case three, limited to the same two rows. So basically, where's three go in this row is kind of a more direct question to ask, but you can look for lining up, right? And I'm seeing that we have these two threes looking up. Most importantly, this three looking up is taking three out of this cell. So three is not in this row here. Here, let me just corner mark it though, so you can see. So it causes these threes to line up. And so now in this row, we are going to need a three, and it's not in this box and not in this box. This three also takes it out of this cell here. So there's a three in one of these two. So the important thing that we learned is that none of these, di I guess these digits aren't three. These two digits aren't three is what we learned. These were already weren't, but these digits aren't three um, is the important deduction there. Okay. Um, I don't think I can do any more with that right now. Let's, let's continue with this band. So I got this three. Um, okay. Three, six, eight. We also have one, two, four. Already looked at eight. So the two and the four both have buddies. These twos look in here, putting a two in one of these two. And these fours look in here, putting a four in one of these two. Um, remember, we're doing the same thing. We're looking for have, have, if twos are limited. We already have this two, so not helpful. If fours are limited, um, it could be helpful if they were, but I don't see how fours are limited, so they're not. Um, anyway. Okay, so now I have two boxes that are down to four or fewer cells, so it's always good just to take a look at what's left there. Also, this row is down to four or fewer, so we're going to take a look at a lot of these cells. So this box needs one, five, six, seven. This cannot be one or six, so this is only five, seven. Um, okay, yeah, and the one looks up here, this one looks in, that's a crossing on the two nines. So there's a one in one of these two. That points up along with this one, putting a one in one of these two cells. So this isn't one, so this is um five six seven these can be any of one five six seven as far as i can tell so we can't do more here <clears throat> all right this box here we have one two three four so we need five the five is looking down here so five's in one of these two that points down along with this five putting a five in one of these two uh i'm noticing this column in general is going to be good to mark as well but let's not get ahead of ourselves so we are looking at this box so we need six seven and nine so this cell's not six, five or six, so this is only seven, nine. Um, this is six, seven, nine. <clears throat> this nine looking in means this is five, six, seven. Okay. I'm going to look at this row, this row, this column. There's a lot to look at. Um, you can only do one at a time. We need two, five, seven, nine. So neither of these are seven. In fact, seven ends up in one of these two, if we were to vertically scan. Um, so since these aren't seven, this is two, five, nine only. This one's not a nine. This row here, we need one, five, six, seven. Neither of these are six. There's a six in the box. So these are one, five, seven. And this can't be one or seven, right? This can't be one, six, or seven. So this has to be the five. Um, so it can't be anything else. That gives us the two and the nine. That gives us the seven and the five, giving us the six, five, and nine. This is not a five. That's not a five. Okay, now I can just pencil the rest of these. One, six, seven. That's not a six. And then over here, we have one, four, seven. And that's not a seven. Okay. Well, that's quite nice. I'm going to get rid of all of these um, corner marks there. In fact, actually, I want to keep these ones vertical because that still affects things. This nine does look up, but we can't place the nine. There's still two places for it. 
Okay, anything else here before I continue? Yeah, the sevens are in one of these two. I don't really need that marked though. The reason I marked these ones is the point, I want to remember this pointing claiming as much as possible that these aren't one. So this still serves to remind me of that. Okay, and I did notice that this column is down to four digits. So we need the three, five, seven, nine. So these aren't three, so these are five, seven, nine, and these aren't five, so these are three, seven, nine, and the bottom one's not nine. Okay, that's not as exciting as I hoped. Um, okay, so I'm going to move on to the next band here. So we've got all of our ones done. We also have two and three. So both two and three have buddies. So there's a two and one of these two, and then the threes look in, this three looks down, that places the three. That places the three in this box as well. Remember, we only got that placed because we, we found these lined up threes earlier and we got that corner marked. So that finally came to fruition and, and told us that this was the only place for three in the box because this could not be three because of our lined up threes here. All right, um, this column is now reduced to four digits. So let's just take a quick look. We need a one, um, one, four, six, seven is what we need. So this is one, four, six. Oh, this can't be six or seven. This is only one, four. Neither of these can be one because there's a one in the box, right? So these are four, six, seven. Bottom one's not seven. Um, I think this could be any of them. All right, I was looking at this band here. We got this three. We also got this three, but I don't think that helps us. Um, so I was looking at twos, I was looking at threes. Um, is there anything else I can do here? We do have these two nines looking down, which I never followed up on. So there's the nine placed there. Um, nine's in one of these two cells in this box, because we have this nine. I noticed this column's down to four digits. Let's just take a quick look. We need a one, four, six, eight. Um, this is only one, four, because it can't be six, eight. This is one, four, eight. These can't be one at all. So the one is up here, and these are four, six, eight. Hmm, suspicious, but. Okay, anything else with this band? Yeah, this box is down to four digits. We have one, two, three. We need four, five, six, eight. So the eight is only in one of these two cells. So these are four, five, six. And these aren't five. So the five's in one of these two. And these are four, six, eight. So the fives point up along with this five. This five looks in, putting a five in one of these two. Okay. This whole column is uh, two, four, six, eight. We have all the odds. Uh, this isn't eight, so this is two, four, six. I think this can be any of the even numbers. Okay. Um, all right. Is there anything more with this stack? I basically, I'm scanning it. The twos look up, putting a two in one of these two. Always be looking to see if two is limited similarly in other boxes. All I see is twos are here. Um, nothing real special about twos here. Okay. If there was a two here, looking up, taking two out of here, then yes, we would have lined up twos. Um, I guess it would be like the twos would be here, like this. They'd line up and we'd get this too. But we don't have that. It, there's a 50% chance. <laughs> um, let's see. This, this stack I was looking at. Um, so seven and nine. Do we have those marked? Yeah, okay. The sevens are good. We don't need to mark those. The nines are done. We have one, two, three, seven. We have the threes marked. Ones, I don't think we can do anything with. Twos are marked. Sevens, we're, we're took care of. Um, okay, I think that's all we get for that stack. Let's look at the next stack here. We have one and three. We also have eight and nine. So the nines I did not mark. So these nines all look in, putting a nine in one of these two. I'm noticing this cell here is avoiding a considerable number of digits. It's not one, two, three, four. It could be five, six, seven. Can't be eight, nine. So it is just five, six, seven. I'll mark that. We're getting a lot of four, five, six, sevens, but not enough. Eight, nine introduces in here. So, um, hmm. Oh, I, I, I did not notice this 468 triple, but now that I look, I see it. So this is a 468 triple, naked triple, because this can only be 468, this can only be 46, this can only be 468. They have to be different digits. So one of them will be four, one of them will be six, one of them will be eight. Meaning we cannot put 468 in the rest of the row. 
So that we can remove this corner mark eight. And so there's three digits remaining here. We need the two, um, we need the five and the nine. And this cannot be the two or the five. So this is now a naked nine because it can't be four, six, eight, and it can't be two, five. So it's a nine. So that leaves a five, seven pair here. It also places the nine in this box and the eight in this box, places the eight in that box. Let's clean up these nines here. We get a two, five pair remaining here and then a four, six pair. Two, five, four, six. Um, okay, the two, five pair removes five from this cell. Great, okay. Four, six, four, six, seven. Uh, eight in this row can only go here. Okay, I knew there was something up with that. Four, five, six, seven, okay. Um, this ha there's a five, seven pair here. The there are four sixes left for the box. This six looks down, telling us that's four, that's six, giving us the four here. That's a six, seven pair. We get the five and the seven here. We get the six, four, and five here. This is one, seven, and four. We get our one. Six, seven's not resolved. Uh, this seven looks up, giving us a naked three there. That's a naked nine. We have a one, four pair here. Uh, this four looks up, giving us one, four, and one. This three looks left. There's just so much to follow up on. Um, all right. This is 2, 4 for the column. This cell here is done. If I can find out what it is. Uh, it's a 6. Okay. So now I think I just need to pencil vertically here. Uh, this is 2, 5. This is 6, 7, but it's not 6. So that's 7, that's 6, that's 7. We get the 6 and the 7 there. Um, let's look at this triple here. So we need a 1, which can only go here. We have these two 1s. And then we need a... 5 and 8. This 8 tells us the order. That's 5, that's 8. That gives us the 2, 4, and 2. That places the 2 in this box. We have the 5 and 2 here. Remember when I said if we had a 2 here, we'd have a 2 here? Well, look, that's what happened. It didn't happen in the order I, I was hoping, but <laughs> it is true. All right, so uh, 1, 2, we, uh, we need a 7 and 8 here. This 8 tells us the order. That's 7, that's 8. And then we need 4, 5, 6. This can't be 4, 5, so that's 6. This is 5, this is 4, and we're done. Uh, cool. Uh, interesting puzzle today. I think, I think probably the most important step was noticing the lined up threes and getting this three placed. It felt very important. Um, everything else just kind of flowed. Oh, the, it would, I think, I think the, the, the triple down here, I don't remember which digits it was. It was like four, six, eight, I think this triple down here, giving you the two, five, nine, which just like resolved almost everything. That was definitely an important spot. This, this four, six, eight triple. And that's not an easy spot for sure. Um, I did not follow my own advice of spotting it when it was marked, but I was looking at in around in the area for something similar and, I, and it caught my eye. So um, the more the more you play and the more you you practice just finding things like triples like that, the more your brain will just have them pop out. Which I, I know it's it's not <laughs> useful advice in a way, but um, that's exactly what happened is my brain said, oh, look, that's a four, six, eight triple. So I'm sorry that I don't have any like more rigorous way to say this is exactly how I found it. But anyway, um, my advice is to not do what I did. And instead, as soon as one of these four, six, as soon as the third four, six, eight was penciled, that's when you should have been scanning and finding that it existed earlier, the better. All right. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe and a kind comment below.